Back you, baby. He just came fresh off the first class jet. Uh -huh. I'm not, I, think, I ain't gonna lie, the way Drake responded to Joe, I feel bad. I don't even feel good riding first class no more, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I got a 767. Seven. <laughs> you got a motherfucker, you flying first class, it just don't feel the same way after he said that. Mm. I mean, at least, it could have been worse. You could have <laughs> been in coach with a big woman leaning on you <laughs> or a nigga talking crazy while exactly. you're sleeping. Nah, I, I did that already, man. I, plane is where I used to sleep, man. I, the flight attendant, she was flirting with me. She was like, nigga, you was out before you was. We even took off. Yeah, I, yo, as soon as I hit the plane, nigga, I'm that's done. That's the best yo. sleep in the world, yo, I, bro. Yo, that's the only time you know my, nobody can fuck with you. Headphones go on. What, nigga? Yo, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. gone. In case y'all don't know, we got. Ray Daniels in the MF and building today, you heard what I'm saying? Bad people shocking the world today. I know, I, I know when this clip dropped, they not gonna have to expect you to been up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I was about to say, I haven't done an interview for like a year. All right. Listen, I have, cause I, I just finished my book yesterday and I told everybody, who, thank you brother. I told everybody who I did my book with, I told everybody who been asking me, I'm like, let me get my book done. But SO done pulled up on me twice already. Yeah. And I'd be damned if he sees I'm in New York <laughs> oh, and that nigga hit me yeah. and he'd be like, yo, hey, you in my city and you ain't trying. I said, I told Esso, I said, next time I'm come to New York, I'm, I, I'm coming to your shit. I think shit. it's perfect That's all timing, I got. yo, with the momentum of both Bag Fuel yes, and the man. God Show Thank you. cooking Thank at you. the same time. Yeah. This has been a sit down that a few individuals have been asking for even before everything was bubbling. And I was like, word? It's like, it's time. Yes. So, you know. Normally we do introductions, but we ain't got time for that. It's Ray Daniels, music exec. He done did shit. Google him. The book is coming, but we got to talk shit in the industry. We going to have some Esso, fun. Esso, where you want to start first? Because I know where he want to start. <laughs> Ray. No, no. We got you got to you, 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 do, you, do your thing. This is how we going to start. Esso loves talking. No, you know what? A story came out that hip-hop music is down 40%. Yes. Yes. In sales. All that stuff. Yes. I saw that and I thought a little bit differently about it. But I want you two guys to go first. When you saw the, when you saw the 40% down, you thought differently. You you meaning you thought it was another reason. It's definitely a different reason in my opinion. But I want you guys to go first, then I'm gonna go last. This is the aficionado. Like <laughs> shit talking. <laughs> like, so I just went, so I was like, SO says the talk. SO is like the cousin. That your mother is like, yeah. well, yo. don't get in no trouble. Don't let him. Don't let him. That's all that cousin for me. Like when SO pulls up, we just, next thing you know, we come here real quick. But it's, doing, a, Ray? it's a synergy though. It's, I love it. I love it. It's synergy. Yeah. But if I had to address it, yes. the problem is from somebody who's been on the front line, it's too much money out here. And the money has taken precedence over the creativity. And so it's kind of like, like we we all from we all black we yeah. all from probably the hood or probably not mm -hmm. like a rich background so it's kind of like you know how it is raising somebody and you just giving your kids money every day yeah. like here 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 and then the minute you like yo you got to do better they don't know how to respond to that yeah so I give you a perfect example I was working at a company and I signed an artist and he gave this this is the biggest deal in that company history mm -hmm. we gave this artist a whole lot of money and now I'm talking to the CEO and he's I'm like so what you want me to do and he was like. I mean, you know, just be his uncle. And I'm like, be his uncle? Like, what the fuck does that mean? And then he's telling me to run behind this kid. And I'm like, bro, you can't tell me to run behind the kid and tell him how to make better records when we just told him he the shit and gave him all this money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, how the fuck am I going to tell him what to do when I just told him everything he was doing was right? That's why he just got and rewarded all his money. And he's so Yeah, so for me, it's like, the reason why rap is going down is because the people at the top don't care. They don't understand how hip hop is is the number one uh, uh, extract, the number one source of income for people in the hood. Like that's mm. how we get out the hood. So mm. they don't know how serious it is to us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like for them, it's like just another deal. Here's a million dollars. Let's see what happens. For, but for us, it's like, nigga, we could change our entire families, everything if we do right by. It's business for them. Yeah. It's life and death for us. And for us, and the problem is, is that the people who are the mid-level people, like I was, where I was SVP, I can't come in the room and tell this kid he's doing right or wrong, cause all he's gonna do when I, it's like training somebody, all he gonna do is run to the white man and be like, yo, Ray told me he didn't, the music I wasn't making was good and they're not gonna side with me. So I ain't saying the motherfucking word. I need to interject okay. something random. You're a humble, 
fake talk is really slick. You like I got you. mid-level SVP. Don't do that to me. No, no, what, I, no, no. I, no, let me tell you what I mean by that. Let me tell you what I mean by that. What I mean by that is like, you know I didn't cut the check. Mm. You know I brought you in the room, but you know I brought you to these people gotcha. who are gonna authorize the check. So now, from your eyes, it's like, well shit. Ray, you cool, but them the niggas cutting the checks. Gotcha. That's so the now, boss. Gotcha. That, that's the boss. So now when I come mm. in the room and I'm like, yo, like, dog, this kid would make the same song over and over and over and over again. And the label was like, why is the music not getting better? I'm like, who the fuck gonna tell him? So you want me to tell him so he could be like, nigga, you the sellout nigga, you the nigga. Nah, nigga, we tell him or I'll tell him and y'all back me. But it's not like that. So now you have all this mediocre music. And the algorithm is controlling everything. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, I swear to God, bro, when I used to work for L.A. Reid, great, greatest time of my life. Heineken, when I pulled out, if you told him I got an S.O. record, L.A. is like, is it a smash? I need to hit, it's a smash? It's a smash? Oh, I need to hit a smash. Mm. Man, these new companies, I don't even think we mentioned the word smash or hit mm -mm. or how good the music sounds. Mm -mm. It's just, is it coming? <laughs> we need eight songs from you, eight songs from you, eight songs from you, all before October right. 1st. Mm -hmm. We don't even give a fuck if it's good or not. So exactly. now, the, so it's like, it's a whole lot of shit, but it's fucked up. And the reason why it's fucked up is because people that can, the people that can change it are not in power. Probably. And the people that are in power don't give a fuck about changing it because like you said, it's just business to them. Mm -hmm. Simple as That's that. So what's your thoughts, B? I just think it's, it's too much, it's, it's too saturated. It's too easy to make music. Mm -hmm. and, these, and these people have low standards. Like I, like mm. I, I said it on a whole of the show last year. And people got on me, Ray, when I was just telling people, like, this is the best of the trash is what y'all are getting. <laughs> this is what y'all don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole bunch of trash heat. They picking through the <laughs> trash. And yo, this is the one cup that looks like we could wash it out yep. and put it back <laughs> up here. And they're going to drink from it again. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. That's the music that we're getting. Yes. So when you, don't, when, when, when you don't know that you're listening to trash, right, as the kids, they don't know no better. This is what they've gotten. They've gotten doo-doo mixed records. They've gotten one and a half verse songs. <laughs> yeah. They've listened to it. They've even come with a psychology of, yo, you can listen to the song over and over again because it's only one hour, one minute and 45 seconds. We used to say that about a two verse song that was like a Method Man song that was, oh, that was still two minutes and 45 seconds or two minutes and 35 seconds. And we were looking at it like, yo, this, this is not creative process. Then because you can take the music so easily and they're accepting the doo-doo the, the, um, doo -doo music yep. so fine with them, it's, it's cool with them, and they're trying to act like that they really like it, then we don't have to funnel money into mm -hmm. making real music. Yeah. We don't have to bring in collaborations. We don't have to have a hit person and say, listen, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to give you the Corey Rooney, right? Yeah. And we're going to let Corey Rooney bring mm -hmm. in Tone from Trackmasters, yes. Rodney Jerkins. Not we're going to put this together. Or we're going to have you with a Puff Daddy or a Dr. Dre or a Jermaine Dupri, yep. where Jermaine's going to help you envision the whole shit. And we're going to be able to roll marketing plans out and bring it to the world, which means we have integrity in our music and our product. But yep. what you're speaking about is vision. And we don't have people mm -hmm. that have vision. We have, we basically have bankers and finance people mm -hmm. running companies. You're speaking of vision. You're, you're also saying, I can take this right here, add Jermaine, add this person, add this person, and create this. Mm -hmm. And they're like, nah, all I need is this from you. Mm -hmm. Now, we get this even better, but all I need is this. Don't give me more yeah, than minimum. what I want. They don't want that. They don't, don't, they don't want our voices, they don't want there none we of that go. shit. I think, honestly, there's something very sinister at play. And hip hop has been the dominant genre for what, 25, 30 years? Let's, say, let's lowball the number, 25 years. Years ago, Esso told me that they will make sure your albums don't sell to minimize your power. Yeah. Absolutely. So when I see this 40%, is this a play to make sure hip hop is no longer the don dominant genre? And here's the thing. You spoke on the young lady, um, the, the white girl, Bobby. Yep. Her rollout. Who did they have her rollout with? Hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop. No rock stars, no country singers, None. no television stars. None. But I'm gonna drop a bomb on you. Go for it, Ash. Okay, mm -hmm. and this is the illest shit in the world, right? Mm -hmm. 
We went through a time, mm. and I'm going to tell you, I don't remember the year, but I remember the, uh, the um, singer that was out. It was Katy Perry's record, mm -hmm. right? It was around the year when she did the record with Snoop Dogg, okay? Mm -hmm. They were saying hip-hop was dead, dead. Yep. There was nothing to hip-hop. And every pop record damn near during that year had a rapper on it. Every last Now, mm -hmm. pay attention. They said, oh, singers are dead. Um... Oh, we, they don't want to hear his songs. They they want to hear hip hop. Mm -hmm. But then they let, what's the white kid that sounds like he's from Europe? Um, um, you, who, Ed Sheeran, Sheeran yeah. came out singing R&B music yeah. right in front of our face. Pink, Pink first got on singing what? R &B on the face record, R&B music. music. So yeah, mm -hmm. we, are, we are still the dominant, the, we are the dominant force. We don't know it. We're not treating it as such, which is a big problem. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, let me ask you a question. Where are they coming up with this 40% number? That's what from? I'm saying. Is that a real number? Yeah, yeah. Is, that, is that a number to put out there to lower the stock of artists and hip-hop power? Yes. Lower the stock of a person like a we baby, don't... a Puff Daddy, a Ray Daniels and that song? Yes. Because y'all still can walk into these labels and bring in music. Yeah. yeah, but Ray, y'all down forty percent. Yo, we can't I can't give, give you, you a bunch of money. No. I can't give you. I can't give you a million, one five. Now, am million? I am I saying that the music is not trash? No, it's they're trash. Still, they're, it's I'm not trash. saying. I'm not saying they're not. It's not trash. But uh -huh. we're still. There's a lot of people consuming this music at a high level, and to say forty percent drastically happened. Do I think it's low? I think it's low. Mm -hmm. But it could be like, let's turn that faucet up. It's no different than when TikTok said, we control what goes viral. But, mm -hmm. but, but, but can we keep it real? What's up? That's who, real. Who's, who? What very, you very great point. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I think Ray's point was, was no, tremendous it's, too, We're right? just merging points together to but, see what You're right, we, by the way. But, yes. but let's be real. Mm -hmm. Who's new and who's hot? For real. Okay, because you got the burner boy that's packing shit, right? Yep. Selling twenty one thousand. Yep. That's not making us look good. You got sexy red hot, right? She got to put out a project. We got to see if that's really going to translate into what we're looking for. If Lotto, Lotto is hot, right? But Lotto's not a nationwide rapper. But here's not, the problem not, with not that. Not even nationwide. We once said, "What's the cost of an album in terms of streams?" So now they keep tweaking what the cost is and what the equation is. All right, yo, uh, 100 streams is one album. Oh, now nah, we just changed the rules. Now it's a million streams is one album. Yep. But you know what it is, it's, though? Yeah, what's you up? You know what it is, though? It, it's, mm. also, it's also because there's so much of us that it's not a requirement. So for, I'll give mm. you an example. Like NBA Youngboy, as big as he is, his label has never really spent no money. You don't spend, what do you spend the money on? He's, he's, he's literally making his album. Thing. He's in the studio making his album with beat packs from YouTube. Yep. Putting the shit out. These beats are $2,500. If that much. Your boy ain't never went in the studio with a huge producer or Pharrell. He ain't never mm. did that. They can't get him to do that. It's cheaper and it's easier. We are actually the people that are holding this shit up while they figure out their shit. But when you, so it's like, y'all niggas, hope, what I mean by that is yes. like, all right, so... Let's sign, it, let's sign this rap shit because rap is easy. Nigga, a rapper can make an album in three days. Mm. I mean, not Kendrick, but a nigga, rapper, but, can, a rapper make an can make an album, album in three days. Day. A pop oh, artist yeah. can't. A pop artist can't make an album. Like, Taylor Swift can't make an album in three she days. Yeah, you got to get songs. Between the both yeah, you, you got, guys, you how long would it take for a pop album? Because y'all done a that. A real good one? I'm saying I'm going to say eight, nine, ten, ten, ten I, months. I was about to say minimum six months. Yeah, go. Minimum six months so because, back to because, mm -hmm. because, because not only after you write the song, mm -hmm. then you got to find someone to produce it. Yeah. That's a whole nother process. Whole nother then you got to find someone to mix. It's just yeah. the it's way they do thing. it. It's a whole yeah. process. Background rap, vocals, you bring yeah. a real background vocalist in. You might bring instrumentalists. Uh, you, you bring might, a real mm -hmm. in, 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 mm -hmm. instrumentalist in and you got to mix and you got to mix all those instruments. Out. They got to play yeah. on top of what's already laid there. It's a totally different process. And we're saying the same thing. When he's saying minimum six months, the right? same thing. That means... That means you're in a with, system. With the greats. Yeah. yeah. But Nigga, you're in a system. This is what, if you're getting this shit done in six months, this is what Ray Daniels does, okay? He does this. He's going to bring this in. He already has the writers. Mm -hmm. He already know he's going to carry the Aguardi and all the rest of and, these and, different and, people. And it's scheduling also. It's also, you might not be available till the end of stuff. Like right now, my guy's one of the biggest writers in the world, right? So like, mm -hmm. I have a waiting list. So it's like, 
I'm talking to this person is like, yo, Ray, give me five days at the end of October, but my guy has earned the right to come in and be the finisher. Yeah. So like, they're like, Atlantic just called like, yo, such and such, man, he, he finished with the album, we just need four days with your guys to kind of tweak everything. Mm -hmm. But it's still about scheduling and everything else. But for us, it's, bro, they look at us like, we from the hood, yeah. we don't have shit, you give them something, they'll give you everything they want. They think they're winning because we gave them a million dollars. We know we're gonna make 10 over the next 10 years. Maybe more than that. And and also too, they don't wanna keep making the mistakes they made with Master P, Baby from Cash Money. Those those deals have upset the white so, people. So, so this is what I wanna say. See, that right there, I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. My problem is, is that you just said they don't want what happened. Mm -hmm. What happened? Every, Black no, hit me out. Got no, no, no. Hit me out. That's I, my I, point. Hit me out. Yeah. They got, we made money. Yes. They made money. We made a majority of the money because we created everything. So that's so that's what they, by the I'm way, gonna tell you street that's what politics. they don't want to happen. They don't yeah. want that to happen. It was it's corporate street politics. How dare you finesse us in a system that was meant to finesse ya? Yeah. We look at you as peons and yes. underlings. How did this monkey animal? Flip it around. But what really, we, come what, on. What really fucks them up, though, yeah. is, is they kids love us. Mm. And I think that that's what hurts. It's kind of like, no matter where you I don't give a fuck how, how rich you are, how successful you are, yes. you can't escape your kids getting into what they like. And if they like this nigga shit, it's, this it's, nigga it's, shit, yep. this, this fucking niggas up bitch, they like oh that my shit. God. It kills them because it's like it eats their soul. So it's like, so it's almost like it's kind of like it's kind of like if if you with your girl and somebody comes in and, and your girl's like, oh man, like tell me your name, brother. Space goes. Space go. Oh, space go. Okay, you space go. I've been hearing about you. I, I didn't even know he famous. See? I've been, I've been oh with a group of one years too, by the way. So look, so look, so look, so look. So, look, so, look, so, look, so, look, so what happens? Is, so what happens is, is, so what happens is, you with your girl and space go coming, and your girl is like, man, hey, look at his sneakers is fresh. Mm. You got to You could either do one or two things. You could either be like, yeah, they are right, or you could be like, that nigga worked for me. Yeah, his shoes, sneakers is fresh, but I pay him to bid those sneakers. I bought those. I yeah. bought those. And not, you know what I'm trying to say? It's almost like yeah. they have to find a way to minimize us. Yep. Because they know that in their household we're being praised. And mm. they can't, and it's like, yeah, you might like what Ray does, but your dad writes his checks. How about that? And it's like, <laughs> it's like, that's cool, that's cool, but your kids still wanna be like me. That's still that's the creative a, force. I'm still the one they wanna be like. And I'm as long still, as I I'm stay still, creative, mm -hmm. they're gonna wanna keep being like me. I and got, they hate that shit. I got a question for you. Mm. Why the fuck you think everything in Atlanta is better? That's what the <laughs> fuck I want to know, mm -hmm. bro. Because every time it's any <laughs> nigga <laughs> from Atlanta <laughs> versus a New York nigga, a Chicago nigga, a LA, this nigga always yep. picking up fucking Atlanta That's nigga, not true. Bro. My favorite rapper of all time is Jay-Z. A Brooklyn nigga. Oh man, yeah, bro, yeah. you know what Brooklyn. I'm talking I about. Know, Come hey, on, man. Hey, no, no. Come so on, so man. let me taste about Atlanta. I got to say this because... <laughs> This shit what, crazy, New bro. York is so in your face, <laughs> rollick, <laughs> motherfucker looking from New York, nigga. Like, what's up? It's like, so Atlanta is finesse. So it's like, I always say the reason why Atlanta doesn't get the credit it deserves is because of that. What like, credit is Atlanta not getting? Atlanta Ray gets Daniels? a lot of nah, credit. Man. Ray Daniels, what out, credit is Atlanta right, not getting, on, bro? Yeah. What is the number one city in the South? Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, right Over Miami. What's the number one city in the world? New York, bro. Well, <laughs> should have tried to say New York, I mean, I mean, New York, oh, New York not... nigga. <laughs> they call me New Harlem, New York, nigga. I'm from New York, nigga. What's up, nigga? Like, it's, it's different. Come on, nigga. Is it so, but so, we ain't so, talking so, about Ray ain't leaving no south on the head. talking about credit, nigga. Look what you just gave me. Look what you just gave me. Nigga, see what I'm saying? Space go. See what happens? Yo, what's the number one city in the south? That's that white man, black man shit. Hey, you got right. Don't you nigga don't want no, me? Like, yo, nigga, why can't we be the number one city in the world? Cause we are, nigga. And we give y'all credit. That's enough for y'all. Yo, Ray came with unlimited rounds. Take these crumbs, rounds. nigga. Take these crumbs. Ain't no crumbs in that credit, bro. Take these crumbs, Ain't nigga. Ain't no crumbs in that credit, but I. But he's proud of his But y'all no, 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 okay, okay. thinking that way is, is with that chip on on on, on y'all shoulder. It's what that's what that. Yes. Okay. So that's let, what's driving y'all. So let me tell you. Since '03, y'all been running this. I moved to Atlanta. In 91, Ooh. I was 12 years old. In 91, when I moved to Atlanta, when I tell you I'm from the projects in the Bronx, mm. 
Nigga, I grew up around nothing but New Yorkers. My mother's number New York. I'm my whole family. I moved to the pro from the projects in the Bronx. When I moved to Atlanta, that was the first time that I saw us in power. So when mm. I see a black person that don't live in Atlanta, I be like, why don't you live in Atlanta? Like, you a king there. In New York, you probably just another nigga. Like, like in Atlanta, it's, it's kingship, bro. Like, I can get, like, our mayor... Like I can get them on the phone. The 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 politics, the street, everything to me is like you guys can come here and back and and move back field to Atlanta and they'll throw a welcome party for you. Like at the table, like yo, what, what y'all need? Who, yo, if y'all need anything, let me know. We got y'all. Mm. That's so not it. That's so not it. It's just you can pull up to my building. Like niggas will be in town and just pull up on me. I don't Atlanta. We just all about us and we and because we know we control it. We kind of just like, hey, come be a part of it. Like, like you got like niggas like Rugs and Fly Tie from Queens, Rugs from Brooklyn from Fly Tie from Queens. These niggas moved down, opened up restaurants and got hot instantly. Yeah, cause that's how we are down there. We love everybody black, nigga. We it's it's actually a white person come now make us look like, hold on, who the fuck is you with? <laughs> but a nigga, uh -huh. you coming to Atlanta? You want to do something, nigga? Whatever you need, I got you. If you want to shoot it, you want to record at my studio, you want whatever you want, nigga, I got you. Cause in Atlanta. Nick in New York, niggas got rooms. In Atlanta, niggas got buildings. So we love, we look out for each mm -hmm. other. It's just a different love for black people there that I never experienced before. Like I have people come to me and tell me, nigga, the only other place I felt like Atlanta is South Africa. Yeah. Like you get up the airport, the whole airport is black I people. With they, they, call, they call Atlanta you know Wakanda. Yeah. Nah, I fuck with South Africa. I, I like South Africa. Yeah, so you get up the airport, nigga, the whole airport is black. Nigga, it's like this is Atlanta's a city. And the reason why I like Atlanta is because we don't mix it up with others. Mm. Atlanta, we still got Black Knight and White Knight. Like, mm. oh, you going to you going to that club? Oh, that's White Knight tonight. Oh, you must know somebody over there. Nah, we don't mix it up in Atlanta. If you hang out with Black people in Atlanta, you one of us. You fuck with us. You understand this is ours. So it's different. Atlanta's just a different city for Black people. And not only that, I can go home to my 22 acres. My house is 14,000 square feet. Nigga, literally, literally eight houses down is my mother's house. That's 7,000 square feet with a pool house and a guest house. I got a crib in the city. I got an office. All that shit. If I was in New York, I'd be in one room. I'd be somewhere in Brooklyn. Like, it'd be all of us together. Atlanta is just a place for growth and, 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 it's, and they welcome black people. So... I why do you think their music is better than everybody else? You still answer my question. I don't think their music is better. <laughs> I see, I see <laughs> why you like you love Atlanta. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can't lie to you. I will say this. I don't think our music is better. I don't think that. I think black music is just better, period. And I think Atlanta is a place where you could be unapologetically black. Not an unapologetic nigga. That's different. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But unapologetically black. Because in Atlanta, we don't really embrace a lot of ignorance. Yeah. Like, it's like, you ain't, like, Sexy Red couldn't come out of Atlanta. She could come to Atlanta and we'll support her, but she can't come out Atlanta. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's just kind of like we Echelon. black. It's 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 black. So nobody excellent. came out of Atlanta popping pussy and doing all of that shit. And, Let me and, think and, about and, it. And, Tell and, me, it was lit. Tell me. I'm asking. I, I, no, no, no. Let's I, think about. I, it. I think about it. Like 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 as a girl. As a girl, like Lotto is Lotto is as classy as it gets for a girl that shows ass. I don't know, but y'all got a little germ too that was wild. But that was that's, a, that, that's that, a guy. That, that, that's that, different. That was that was crunk music. Yeah. But that but to be honest with you, that was just that's y'all culture. That's uh, that's just niggas acting crazy. The only thing Atlanta did was give it a name. That's the only thing we did. If we didn't give it a name and it was just Atlanta music, it'd have been whatever. But like drill music here is the same shit. It's just. Turned the black people. It's just interesting when you brought it down like that. Lotto being more classier than Sexy Red. Yeah, because she's, she's from Atlanta. Way, she's way different from from. So we don't. No, we don't allow like Atlanta. Where's Sexy not going, Red from? She's from St. Louis. Oh, we, oh we're not oh, going to allow. Wonder. That's what I'm saying. She could come that's to Atlanta and we'll embrace her. Mm -hmm. she, she'll come to Atlanta and we'll embrace her, oh, but I she can't sexy. come from I, Atlanta. I get why she mm. said booty hole, pussy hole, brown, all yeah, that bullshit. She's from St. Louis, bro. Dope Town, USA. Prime Louis. Like yeah. I always tell people, and I always tell people, I always say the Kardashians couldn't have been built in Atlanta. They would have been just ran through chicks. They would just been getting <laughs> fucked and ran through. I'm dead. Cause that's not how we like, dog, we don't move like that. You, think, you can't come, it ain't no powerful. The only powerful white person that came from Atlanta became powerful was Scooter. Yeah. And Scooter was running with niggas. Yeah. That's all he was throwing parties with niggas. He worked for niggas. Speaking of which, yeah. your, your town has been in the news a lot. Okay. There's two colliding forces. Okay. Well, three forces. Okay. Young Thug, Donald Trump. Okay. And the district attorney chick. <laughs> Fanny. 
funny. What funny? Yeah. yeah. What the f is really going on? Because they've saying that Young Thug case is the biggest case in Georgia history. That includes Savannah, Augusta, Valdosta, all them shit. <laughs> I've okay. been to all them towns. Okay, so Atlanta, Atlanta, let me tell you why Atlanta is an interesting place. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can tell me if it's like this in New York, but here's a little secret about Atlanta. The politicians, the street niggas, the, the music artists, the athletes, they all know every, each other. we all fucking the same bitches. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> No, no, no. It ain't like that over no, 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 here, no, no, no. Right? It's like no. that in Baltimore. No, it, like, it, like, in, in DC. It ain't like, like that you, like, here, you, like, 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 like Keep every talking. politician, Keep every talking. street nigga, every fucking music industry nigga, every uh, entrepreneur, they got a bitch in magic. Man. Every last one got a bitch in magic. <laughs> it's just the game. It's just so Atlanta. Yes. So it, it's just, it's interesting when you spring it up because it's all together. It's a twine. Fani was just probably, in my opinion, the first, because mind you, I was, like I said, I was there. So I'm there when Fani is going against uh, Paul and she was going against Christian Wise and mm -hmm. they're trying to, like, dog, that's the thing about Atlanta. When it's, po when it's time for politics, they calling Ray. Mm. They calling Ray, yo, like, when, when Andre was running, they called Ray. Like, me and Andre sitting next to each other in a meeting. Like, that's Atlanta, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, they understand. Get the street niggas. Get the music industry niggas. Get the athletes. We all go come in the same room. But what links us together is we all fuck the same bitches. So that makes us all friends in a so, lot of ways. So, that so, makes us all alike in a lot of ways. So here comes Fani. Yes. She's the first person who is who looks like us, mm -hmm. but she's backed by others. Understood. But what does she do? The reason why I can't get mad at her is because she's backed by white people, or they say she is, but she went after Thug, who the white people are like, thank you. She went after but she Trump, after too. Trump too. So she's like, I, th I ain't, I ain't, I'm not no, playing fair nobody. No, but I think that's nobody. a cover up. I think that, but I, 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 I think it, it because, is. It probably because, is. Because they still don't have a jury for the Young Thug trial. They can't get one. The pro this, it's impossible. It, it's this impossible. shit is ridiculous. I saw. Have you like the details of this case? It's so it's so messy. It's it's and it, my thing, because especially what's going on with Puff right now, him being in the news. <laughs> and I've always that. said this. Yo, it's I dirty. It's that. dirty in the music business. Oh Listen, my God. The hip hop is the biggest target for the advancement of these lawyers mm -hmm. because I as so and I go back and forth because. They're not supposed to be looked at. They don't do anything similar to drug dealers, cartel members. But I've asked this. Who's the new El Chapo today? Yeah. We don't know. <laughs> Who's the new John Gotti? We don't know. Yeah. Whatever this DA... Can I tell you who the new John Gotti is? The rappers. And he's about to get to that. And that's why she's going after him. He's about to get to that because yeah. they high profile. Can, can, can we... Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Come can on, we come please on. talk about this? Go for it. Go. It's, it's, it's we can talk time. about whatever you want to no, no, talk no, about. But, but I've never talked about this and I, we should, though. Mm -hmm. Go on. I always tell people, and I say this to any black man watching, the mafia, the Italians, they literally... Like, you, you got to understand, we all knew what the mafia was, mm -hmm. but they existed saying we don't exist. Yep. That's why it was called Costa Nocha. We don't exist. The first time I they found out they existed was Giuliani yeah. when he went through all that shit. So With my point Rico, is, this, yes. is that these motherfuckers were ghosts. Ghosts. Making all the money, running everything. Rappers want to act like Gotti, but you in the front eye. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You got to get clean, bro. You yeah. gotta get, and I know it's hard, and I ain't saying that you can't have a dude that's like, yo, this is my cousin Esso, I, nobody ever talked to me, he gets this, mm -hmm. but you gotta get clean because the mafia lived in, they lived in the shadows, and they still got fucked up. Mm -hmm. And we're in the front of the camera saying, I got money, I got all the dope, I got this, 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 and we rapping about it, and then people are saying, protect black art. My nigga, mm -hmm. my nigga, that's like John Gotti making Goodfellas saying, we don't exist, what are you talking about? It's just a movie. Nigga, you, you can't, you, you gotta be careful what you putting in these lyrics. Y'all are telling on yourselves. See, that's not fair. Okay. That's, and I'm gonna tell you why. And so talk about the point with the drill rappers. How we, what, we, right. what did we ask for, We're Ray? gonna be in-, in This um, is hypocritical. Oh, okay, oh, oh, some me. New York shit. When niggas was coming out and niggas was rapping, everybody was like, yo, the difference between our time and our time, niggas was really doing what they rapping about. If they wasn't killing, mm -hmm. Jay, Jay Z was really selling mm -hmm. drugs. Biggie was really selling drugs, and these rappers not doing what they say. Okay, be careful what you ask for. Now, when they say I'm going around the block to shoot this nigga, and, I, and they shoot the nigga, right? Now everybody's on them saying, "Yo, bro, you drilling? This is what y'all asked for. This is what I'm really yeah. doing." This is what I'm, I'm spitting about, no, I right? I got you. And then on, on, on mm -hmm. top of it, this is what the kids is liking. 
This is all they know. Popular music. Do I like it? Do I think it's fair? Like I always said, drill on beat. Everything that we listen to, I'm going to keep it a a hondo, Mm -hmm. right? My moms did not want me listening to this shit. She was like, I don't want you listening to Jay-Z selling crack. And, and pimping bitches and big pimping. I, no, nigga, like, I don't turn this shit off. I don't want, so everything that we, and, and these niggas did make me want to get money. Mm-hmm. They just didn't turn my mind to say, I want to be king drug dealer, but did I sell some weed? Yeah. Did I sell mm-hmm. some shit? Did. Yeah, you damn right I we, did. We all did. Why? Because I wanted to, I, nigga, and, and, and the crazy thing about it is, it's not even always to get a car. Like, you want to survive sometimes, better. Sometimes you got to help Yo, mom. You just want to survive better, bro. You We've never you... met anybody in human history that didn't like fast money. That's real as yeah. fuck, boy. That's some real shit, boy. <laughs> now, I one person said, that. whoa. Yo, too chill, fast. this came nah, from nah, fast. Nah, Where did this come from? Get, get that shit to me. I want it. <laughs> you, 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 you I want it. Give me all that shit. Especially if it's legal. I yeah, want, oh I want all God. that. Well, you I said, keep that motherfucker. You start hitting on the phone when the next one coming. Yeah. Yeah. Ray, you bring me I 10 racks it. right now. Ray, what? As soon as I can call more. me with some what gas. What I got to do to get more? What I got to do to get more? What I got to do to keep that coming? Yo, I need that. But but I want to say something. Go back you you yeah. just said what you said. Here's mm-hmm. the difference. Mm-hmm. The difference is, is that I can say I sold drugs, and then I can also <laughs> say what drugs? I can say I pimp bitches, mm-hmm. and then I can also say what bitches? Mm-hmm. If I say I shot a nigga, that nigga's right there on the floor. The nigga I shot. That's the difference. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> you rap out of drugs, you sold nigga rap. Where? What the drug? What, what drug? What drug? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, what that nigga Dwayne said? Nigga, what money? Nigga, hey, nigga, nigga what money? I don't bro. know, but if I say I shot a nigga on 81st Street mm-hmm. and a nigga laying on the ground, okay, now I'm a little, now I'm a little dumb. Yeah, because my thing with, I had spoken to Esso about this when Fonny going after Trump. Because the young thug is so messy and you know better than everybody else. It's to the point he probably could get off. Yeah. And if, you know, she's about to get re-election, I'm not sure when it's coming up. And if that gets off and they've spent all that money, the Trump shit now, it's like, hey, there's a bigger shark to overlap what's been going on with the failures. Is that... It, it's, am I- it's, it's, it's all politics. All right. And to me, to me, I feel bad for Thug, I really feel bad for Lucci because Lucci, both of these both of these niggas is is being played on as political prisoners, if you will, mm. to show because I ain't gonna lie, Atlanta is wild. Atlanta's wild. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, like it's, it's like, it's, it's like that's bit, why yeah. that, that's the thing about Atlanta that I love is that you, everybody comes to the city, but after this what all the shit happens in the city. After the shit is over, we all go home to the suburbs. Mm-hmm. Everybody, it ain't too many niggas that live in the city unless you from out of town. Like if y'all move to Atlanta, y'all yeah, gonna, we live gonna in the be city. in the city. I live in Fayetteville because I'm from the South Side. Like mm-hmm. nigga, Fayetteville is all the rich black people on the South Side live. That's where I wanted to live. Mm-hmm. But you know, it is bad. But and and dog, it it was just a pandemic. We opened up. It was don't for, oh, let's also not forget that I, while Fani is doing what she's doing, you have Governor Kemp, who's like mm. open the whole city up. So now he's basically saying we the mayor of Atlanta is saying the city is shut down and the governor is like no it's not we open so now everybody from Miami New York everybody's coming we to Atlanta down there. We yeah. was down it's there. all the money we was all down, 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 down there it's all uh, exactly all the money is flowing <laughs> niggas got PPP money from everybody got PPP oh, bro, so bro, niggas is niggas we was living, yo, 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 living yo, good right right I gotta cut you off. <laughs> I was going to Atlanta just be like, I can go sit in a restaurant and have drink. Yes, yes. nigga. That's what I'm saying. Atlanta, we was going to Atlanta and me and Howard was coming back and I'm telling my wife, I'm like, yo, she's like, so how was Atlanta? I was like, Atlanta was stupendous, tremendous, yeah. stupendous. It's different. Nigga. Like, it was everything. Was, she was like, what you mean? I said, we was going to the strip club to go eat during the day. Yep. yep. We was booking <laughs> shit. Niggas was paying us yep. to do interviews. Yep. We was, we're, we're fucking going to smoke. Outside, I'm the only nigga with a mask. Niggas looking at me crazy. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm drinking martinis. <laughs> Shit is up in Atlanta. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The, I'm only, like, the only two different. things, there's three things I dislike about Atlanta. Tell me. Everybody takes the highway, so the That's traffic annoying. is annoying. The number one source of crime is, well, aside breaking from- Breaking in the cars? Home invasions. Not home invasions, car, car breaking. The car breaking, car, but car breaking. I, it, it fluctuates and then the third one, because when Esso and I was in the bar, <laughs> you have to be careful who you say hello to when you're talking to girls. Oh my God, I feel like that third yeah. one, I feel like it's not fair. That third like, one. Right, so we was in the bar, remember? And we were like this. 
But Heineken, you might have been in the wrong part of town. You might have been in the bars. Like, that's what I'm trying it's to tell you. It's starting to trickle out. It's we, not. We was in Buckhead. Y'all had to be in South we, we Buckhead, Buckhead by Midtown, nigga. <laughs> we was in Buckhead. Y'all had to be right above 17th Street, nigga. <laughs> Ray, well, you was in the wrong was, part. Listen, between no, North Avenue and 17th Street? No, but Ray. It's oh, the Ray, water Ray. boy. No, the water oh, boy nigga, walked up to me. Yo, Atlanta's so ill. We walking past the water boy, <laughs> and the water boy says something. He's not, I'm not even in the car. We on the street walking. And he say something, I'm like, I, 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 I don't got no cash. He's like, I might see you again, though, nigga. Yo. Was it, yeah, I was like, yo, bro. But, but he see, was with me, I was like, yo, bro. That, okay, just, so that, okay, I so, said, did bro just threaten okay, so, so me? Let me tell you, so let me tell you something. The, the problem with Atlanta, I'm going to tell you something. One thing, <laughs> one thing about Atlanta is that, that, that I will say is that Black people feel so privileged that the only city in America, outside of maybe Miami, where you can have water boys, is Atlanta. That's the only city in America where you can have black kids harassing the entire city, and people don't want to say, <laughs> these little niggas need to be, sh yeah. like one of them got shot by another one. Yes. Like, it's the only city water where you got white water people who are like- You didn't hear about the water boy that yeah, shot another water, water boy? One of my, that's my homegirl's son. She got, he, got, he got murdered by one of the boys. Yeah, yeah, but nigga, shot. that's my point though. That, that's the only thing about Atlanta where I'm like, all right, we need a couple. That's why I'm like, all right, sometimes a funny is good because you need someone, excuse me, you need someone who scares the people because mm. the fact that you can have kids at, and if anybody's never been to Atlanta, here's what here's the problem with the water boys. Imagine you just going to your job yeah. and you get off at the light. You have four kids at your car asking to sell you water. Now, here's the problem. They're not really trying to sell you water. You say, bro, like literally, Heineken, I ride with water in my car just so I can show them. <laughs> They'd be like, so what, big bro? Just look out for me, then big bro. Just shoot yeah, me something, yeah, big bro. Yeah. So they cash, cash, at me. cash at me something, bro. I ain't got no cash. I got cash out, bro. Like they want. So me is that. <laughs> so me is that. How the fuck does that happen in a city in America? Black kid ain't one of them been shot by a white man yet. By a white woman who was afraid and startled and just shot her gun. That ain't yeah. happened yet. That's because they know this is a black city, mama. And as much as they get on my nerves, they still look like me. So mm. roll your fucking window up and keep looking straight, lady. Because the minute that you come down and have something with them, we gonna ride with them. That's the city we live in. Mm. It's just different for black people. That, to me, the water boys are the manifestation of Atlanta's culture. It's the worst kind, though. I'm not gonna say it's a good kind, it's the worst kind. Cause it's like, nigga, I'm straight, bro. Like, I'm good. Bro, they the were... niggas soft threatened me on the oh, water bottle, no, they don't bro. play that shit. And Yo, nigga, bro, and, 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 and I knew it, I know we got a car. Yo, bro, we was walking and we was in Buckhead. Y'all don't look and, like, y'all don't look, y'all niggas do not look like janitors. Yo, yo, Y'all niggas look like Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Yo, Atlanta, yeah. you can't, yo, everybody watching. If you're walking around in Atlanta, they know you marked for death, okay? Yeah. You're a buster. Nobody's walking in Atlanta. Yes. When I'm walking from my hotel right to the corner to maybe go have steam house or something, oh, or beautiful. go anywhere, everybody in the car is looking at me like, oh, he's he oh, he about to catch it. Nobody's oh, nah, walking nigga, I'm, 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 I'm looking at y'all niggas. Y'all niggas look like y'all got some money. <laughs> and these little niggas is looking at y'all like, look at that nigga, look at Heineken jacket, my nigga. That nigga, I, I know he got a couple dollars for me in his jacket. That's what these little niggas are saying. You don't look like a bum. This nigga, nigga you, got a gold zipper on, on his shit. Oh, I know you got it, nigga. Yo, yo, that yo. hat, you got rhinestones on your nah, hat, yo. nigga. We coming. Nigga. Oh, that, oh, that rhinestone, you got something oh, on your hat. Up. We, we coming. Can we talk about one of the best marketing and promotions that we're seeing currently right now? Yeah. Drake's rollout. Char Absolutely. Charlemagne was did an interview, and they were talking about him and Drake going back and forth. And yep. he said, I don't know if it's real or not, but we planned this out. And I always think about whenever shit happens, how Essa always says, that's just marketing and promotion. They're so not mad at each this other. This nigga needs a marketing promotion. That's your merch you say. <laughs> that was your merch you yes. say, bro. Your merch you say marketing promotion. I'm gonna, I, yo, I, I'm, you I'm, I'm on his show, and, King, and, and, and we going back, and I'm like, yo, Ray, what are you talking about? That's only marketing and promo, Ray. Yo, what are you talking about? Yeah, because and Charlemagne said people rather believe the lie than the truth. The lie is provocative. It makes their minds feel good. There's no... and. To think, I've said this before, Drake is probably top five, one of the most calculated individuals Absolutely. in this game. So he ain't just gonna take a shot. When he took that shot at Joe Button, knowing how Joe speaks and reacts. I thought that was, to me that felt. Authentic? Nah. Calculated. Calculated? To me, it felt calculated. Yeah. To, me, I felt like, to me I felt like they talked about it or something like that. Because yep. Drake, Drake won't Roll let up. God. He won't let up. 
Like if Joe was the one, Joe is the one that's supposed to let up right now. Yeah. Joe is the one supposed to be. He's the nigga in front of the mic that talks. Yeah. He's supposed to be talking. He ain't even. Drake is doing the talking. So I, I remember thinking. I was thinking that this morning. I was like, this nigga is still talking about this. They're man? two. The father's talking. They're, they're two. The super, father. Listen, they're <laughs> two superpowers in their respected places mm -hmm. of business, right? It's not doing nothing but help Joe too. Of course, it, Joe is I number, say, Joe is number one. Joe is number one. The, the one thing I'm gonna say His this music just uh, yo, listen. I, I'm gonna say this about about Joe, Joe Burton, and, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I sent this to DJ Clue yesterday or this morning. I can't. I can't remember. I said, Yo, Clue, look at what Joe Buttons did. He totally manipulated everything in the internet world and all that by putting out one post and he knows he can do it mm -hmm. that he's gonna do it all the other podcasters and blog sites and platforms they're all going to joe buttons because whether people understand that joe buttons and nori is like the gods of this thing yep type mm -hmm. of thing mm -hmm. then you got gilly and wallow that's right with them but because i feel like that nori and them is looked at like they did it differently and joe been streaming prior People look at them as the gods uh, of this shit. Yeah. So when they do something, everybody else is quick to repost it. <laughs> yeah. He is manipulating the whole situation. It's like what Jimmy taught me when when Jimmy called me, with Jim Jones tea. called me with the push of T. That said, was a whole I, I, rollout. I, 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 I could let it out. Jimmy called, no, I called Jimmy. Listen okay. to this. Okay. I called Jimmy. I just picked him up from the airport. I just landed. <laughs> and I said, Jimmy, I'm joking. I said, Jimmy. Yo. Stop fucking with this Pusha T nigga. Yup. Mm -hmm. I said, just let it go, Jimmy. Like, it's fine. And Jimmy was like, no. No. And <laughs> come over here. He said, he said, and come over here today. And I was like, where are we going? I'm shooting a video. Yeah. He didn't say it's the Pusha T diss. He didn't say nothing. He said, I'm shooting a video. Come through. I call, I'm, I'm, I'm with Han. I said, yo, Han's right, Han's sitting right, right there. I said, Han. Fuck it, you, you with me for the rest of the day now. We going to so and so to shoot the video, blah, blah, blah. Maybe we gonna get some video time, is, is yep. all I said. Mm -hmm. Light shit, right? <laughs> I pull up, I see the mic and all this shit, and Jimmy's like, can nobody get the footage except SO? He can film whatever he wants, blah, blah, blah. So naturally, how I'm with me, so we both getting footage and shit, mm -hmm. right? Not thinking nothing of it. Not thinking nothing, then he says, play the record for SO. I said, what the fuck? I said, play it again. Is this a Pusha T diss? Mm-hmm. We up him like, oh my God, Jimmy's dissing Pusha T. So we get it. Are you in the video? Jimmy no, 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 not, no. Jimmy, not. Give, Jimmy <laughs> says nobody can leak the footage. Yo, put that up. But before he said put that up, he said, let me go through your phone. Yeah. I he scrolled. That's the part you pick him. Yeah, yeah. And he knew. He said, yeah, people are going to like this he part, said, but they're going to critique the bars yeah. and say, this ain't the hot bars. He said, let me see. The he, song. Said, he said, let me see your phone. And he did He did pick the footage out. Yep. He, said, he said, use this one. I said, I'm dropping on my timeline. He said, no. No. Stories and tag everybody on that bitch. Make and it watch, seem it was random. And, and, and watch what it do. People was up there like, oh, he stole the footage. Yeah. He did all types of wild shit. I'm You're like, criminal. Because the shit went viral. Yeah. Culture wow. vulture. <laughs> the shit went viral. Wow. The shit came from me. And they was like, yo, you leaked Jimmy. You off at an angle. Jimmy don't know that you got yeah. it. You stole it. <laughs> Wait till Bird Gang catch you. <laughs> yo, they was wilding on me, son. What? Well, yo, what the mother? <laughs> but yo, they was wilding on me. Me some, but this shit, whatever, yo, when Jimmy catch you, yo, yo, word is born. I'm like, yo, Jimmy, I'm like, yo, Jimmy, can I tell these? You got me in some shit, my nigga, what we doing? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Jimmy, can I tell these people? He said, no, it's too early. Wait. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's months now. I, I, it's marketing and promo, everybody. I, I would say this. What's Rap up? should learn from WWE. Mm. Because wrestling, we know is fake. We know it's fake. We know these guys are friends behind mm. the, the curtains. But... The characters is what we buy into. The characters are who we fall in love with. And, he, and, and even if it's, I believe that rap needs, it needs to be a rap league where like niggas is dissing each other, it's all fake. It's called battle up. rap. No, I'm saying, I'm talking about like, actually, I'm talking about, <laughs> no, it's called battle rap. Talking, yeah, it really but, I'm talking, is. but I'm talking about in the real world. I'm talking about like, in the, like how you just said, where it's two niggas that's like, Drake is like, I gave an example of a WWE moment when Ye won against 50 Cent. That was a WWE moment. Yes, that was it a moment was. where it's yes. like when they was trying to sell yes. the record. You had yes. to pick, but the, the, they both won though. Yes. You had to pick a side. Fifty was kind of on his decline, yep. and 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 Ye, Ye was, was on, on his incline. incline, and they met at this moment, and you had to pick a side, and nigga, they both won. It works for them both. Now the the thing about. He did win, but it still but won. But it doesn't but, matter. But 50, 50 sold 50 more. 50, 50 sold, sold more than he, he would have yes. 
And it's about dollars and cents. Yes. It's about relativity. This is what I'm saying. And, exactly. and then you both, both the market each other. The, there you go. And the thing that's so beautiful about WWE, they really rework situations. Yes. So, like, I didn't know Patrice O'Neal used to write for, like, The Rock, mm -hmm. his storyline, and all of that. So let's just Who say... Patrice O'Neal? A, a famous yeah. comedian yeah. who okay, passed away. It. So, like, Esso will be like, all right, hon, this is how we got to do our character and everything. Mm -hmm. And if it don't hit, all right, go back in the lab, sit down. I'm going to bring another... It's like, they're almost like R&B artists. Yeah. And if you can't get the right songwriter, mm -hmm. Ray Daniels comes in and it's like, yo, Ray, we've been trying to work this mm -hmm. person. Yeah. Boom, come in. Mm -hmm. So the same thing with this marketing and promotion. Drake is really given a great rollout. Yeah. And it's free. And it's amazing. It doesn't cost anything. And it doesn't anything. cost anything. And that's, and what, that's what you what... be arguing about. Yeah. That's what <laughs> you be arguing about, nigga. Yo, I, yo, yo, like, I'm like, dog, you can tell a story and if people buy into that story, yeah. like, it's yo, up. Oh, it's yo, up. What made you start YouTube and the podcasting. Come on, Ray. I got tired of seeing. Well, for me, <laughs> oh, come on. It was a lot. It was no, a whole, no, it was a whole lot of shit. Let that hammer go. Okay, it, it, for me, it was. I got tired of seeing people who were talking about the music industry mm. that wasn't in it. I me think, too. and I told this to Joe. I told me and Joe when he did my show. I said I felt like the executive version of him. I mm. think people cared about what he said because they knew he did it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's kind of like. The, I'm kind of like uh, uh, Shannon Sharp of music, where it's like, I actually played in the game. I have the number one song in the world right now. Check Billboard right now, at this okay, very the, moment. All, all my the life? The Jungkook record. Oh, the, but um, you had the all, all My Life All My too. Life record, yeah. We, I, we have the rap record of the year. So I have all these records that's under, uh, that, that I, I'm a part of. And, you know, just I just got tired of watching people that didn't know talk. And me, I care. Mm. I care about the people. So for me... And not only that, I think that podcast is is the new version of hip hop to me. Oh. Like, like I'm not being when I I'm not like I mm -hmm. know this might sound like I was being silly. I really like oh that space ghost. No, I'm not being funny because no, 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 no you don't I'm understand. Not being funny. No, let him say. Yeah, yeah, let him say. Let him say. I'm gonna tell you why. Because, because I'm watching. I'm watching. Like it's like I'm piecing the story together. So mm. I'm watching. Like so, mind you, Esso, my bro. So now I see Esso post on his story a picture of Mav Hoffa with laughing emojis. So at that moment, I gotta go watch that entire interview. <laughs> Cause he posted, I wouldn't know what the fuck he laughing at. Mm -hmm. So then I see him talking about y'all and this, and then they like, did the Tony Yayo thing? And I'm like, hold on, what? And then I'm like, bigger, and then I, so now I'm literally, go and every time I hear, I'm like, man, don't, none of this shit work without Space Ghost. It ain't him, it's Space Ghost. And I'm like, who the fuck? And I'm like, this nigga gotta be some motherfucking genius podcast <laughs> nigga, my nigga. Why they keep saying this nigga name? Like, he made niggas. So that's what I'm trying he to say. He made niggas. For real. But that's what I'm saying, though. So for me, that's some WWE shit to me now. I don't even know who you are, but because I went down this rabbit hole, I'm interested I'm in the character. Man. Yeah. You, I, don't do that. You yeah. a little bit higher than Shane. Vince, yeah. nigga. You just ain't put your face on. You Vince right now. Don't. No, no, but here's the thing, though. Uh, but here's the thing, it. though. I, I wanted to know. I'm not even being funny. Because I, I kept hearing, like, man, I want fucking, it. It fucking space. If it wasn't for Space Ghost, none of this shit would be going. I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga, my nigga? Why they keep telling this nigga name like that? Mm -hmm. So when I meet you, and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's really me being, like, a fan of here's listening the, to this shit. Here's the thing. I be, no, I yeah. just been saying, yo, face, Space Ghost, you know you're <laughs> famous. He's like, yo, why do you always troll me? Yeah. And then that's will be like... Nobody cares, huh? Why are you coming up with these ridiculous things? Nah. And as time keeps going, we went and sat down with Rod Strickland. He's like, you're a space. He, he I'm did. telling you, bro, I won't even be a I fun. keep saying it. Bro, By the way, that's that. dope that you got a name. Yes. That's dope as a space I'm ghost. Wrong, nigga. It ain't like Michael, Michael Record. It's like, no, this nigga <laughs> named Space Ghost. Nigga, this nigga's in the future, my nigga. Yeah, Who the yeah, fuck yeah. is this nigga, my nigga? <laughs> so I'm telling you that. But, but the reason why I got on podcasting yes. was because I just got... I, I, so for me, here's the real reason. Mm -hmm. That's like the ego reason. Here's the real reason. Mm -hmm. I believe the future of this world is going to be rooted in community. And I believe that everyone is going to have their own community. If you pay attention, this is where all the celebrities is coming from. There's people who are like leaders of these small communities of people that follow and are like them. So I remember thinking, I can go get another job or I can build my community. 
I'd much rather build my community because if I if you get fifty thousand people in your community and you're getting a thousand a dollar a month, that's fifty thousand you're making a month from your own community of people, mm -hmm. and you get to dictate what we do or how we do it. So like you guys, I'm a part of the backfield community. Mm -hmm. I'm a mm -hmm. subscriber. I'm a part of the fucking community, mm -hmm. my nigga. Like I watched, I pay attention, so I'm invested in nigga. I I met you for the first time. I want to hug you because I'm like nigga Heineken. But here's the even crazy know, part. I'm watching you. My I was nigga. supposed to meet you at South by Southwest. For yeah, real? walked out right before you left. I had a, a, a venue, and the event was supposed to start at 12. So we in there at 11 a.m. It's like, yo, the line's around the corner. Yeah. I'm like, around the corner? <laughs> at 11? And it was really, and you've yeah. you been to South by. Yeah. It don't work like that. And literally, Esso hit me. He's like, yo, I just met this dude, Ray Daniels. I was like, and I had just saw you, like, now, but here's the crazy people part. got. But, but that, that, that's the world we live in now. I walk into the restaurant. Yeah. I yeah. see Esso. I. I, my man Jack, Jack uh, Dan, shout out to Jack Dan's yeah. whispers. Yo, that's Esso from such and such. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I know who he is. And I was like, but you know me, I'm in the music industry. We don't we interact. Don't, we, yeah, over, yeah. we don't interact. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, I you know. know, right. I, know. I, I said the same I, thing to Ghost. I saw the nigga, I said, that looks like that Ray Daniels exactly. nigga. And, then I'm and, like, Ghost said, and Ghost was like, yo, I think that's him. I said, that's crazy because I had just saw your yeah. clip mm -hmm. yes. like the day before. Yeah. And I was like, who's this Ray Daniels nigga? Yeah. And you came in, and I swear to God, Han said, peace. He walked out the door, and we saw him go by the window, and I looked back, and you were coming in the door. That's crazy. Yeah. Cause I walk, so I walk in, mm. and Jack is like, nah, I'm going to go say something. He from Queen. <laughs> like, you know, that's like... That's like, motherfucker, I'm I don't know how that nigga. shit worked. Nigga. I'm a Queens that nigga, nigga, bro. That nigga said space, but that nigga said, he from Queens. Queens. It was like, no, that's my nigga. I'm yeah. like, so I said, do you know him? He said, nah, nigga, he from Queens, mm. though. Nigga, I got yeah, this. Yeah. So that was like, so at that moment, it was like, so for me, even now, like, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I say about three weeks ago, when I was in Paris, that was the first time I came, I came back from Paris, and I actually said, I'm going to embrace being a media personality. Because mm. I didn't embrace it. I didn't even like it. Like, nigga, I just... Because to me, it's like, I'm not doing it for the fame or the money. I'm doing it because I give a fuck. And mm -hmm. so for me, it's like, but I still, like, dog, like right now in my studio, I got one of the biggest girl groups in the world at my studio in Atlanta right now recording their album with my entire team. So the music is my wife, but this, this media shit is the bitch I love. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I just gotta be respectful to my wife, but that's why I work so hard. You've been a pimp a long time, right? Thank you. That's some pimp talk right there. Nah, for real, nigga, because I, I love it. I love this, like, dog, the music shit, I, it's, it's bullshit and it's frustrating. See, I can't see but, that. Mm, what's what? up, ask? Because everybody, see, online, mm. like, it's, it's a bunch of people that's online asking, like, oh, well, why, well, if you know so much about the business, why you don't got an artist and why you not doing that? They don't people understand. don't understand that. I, 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 I want to answer that, though. I'm glad you brought I that really up. I really don't want to do I, it. I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. So here's the thing I want y'all to know. Yeah. Most of these managers that y'all look up to, they really ain't the shit. <laughs> Most of these executives you look up to, they really ain't the shit. They got lucky. And I'm not even saying that like- Yo, he and, said and, that to me, yo. And listen, proximity pays a bigger role in success than anything else. Not being disrespectful or nothing like that. But Simon. Nigga, Tata lived in Jay-Z's building. Memphis Bleak lived in Jay-Z's building. These niggas was on the ride whether they wanted to be or not. Like, Dane was from Harlem, nigga. We could break up, but you was in my building, nigga. Our moms is sending each other sugar and butter. It's a different relationship. James Lasseter, <laughs> who managed Will Smith, he was the only dude with a car. Yes. He wasn't, he wasn't a brilliant manager. He was the only dude with a car. He became brilliant because he honored the mm -hmm. process, right? But he became brilliant. But a lot of these people you look up to, you, nigga, these niggas got lucky. Like, and then the, you could tell if a nigga got lucky, didn't get lucky if he did it more than once. Like what Ho said, yeah. nigga said they make Ho. Okay, make another Ho. Has Dame made another Ho yet? I always and I love Dame, but yeah. has he? He ain't even came close, mind you, because Jay Z is the fucking one. But but Rich Paul, same shit. Rich Paul, the brilliant agent, my nigga. You was LeBron's friend, my nigga. Let me, let me, All you had to do on. was honor the process, my let, nigga. Let, let, let me say something to mm. the doodle -doo head niggas that be don't understand. Y'all have no idea what it takes to make it in the music business while, without having an arm to pull Nigga. you in. You have no idea when people look at you and you pulling up in cars and they looking at you, how'd you make this money and I don't know your name. Yep. You have no idea the grind and the hours I put in leaving college, swerving with dudes, throwing parties, getting to know people from parties, coming up, spending my own money just to be in events because you, because nobody could even get into this world, bro. Let me ask yeah. you, was it a dangerous thing to come in without 
any mentor or co-signer because I remember when I first started doing this content thing, they was having me in all these offices. And at the time, I really thought they was going to fuck with me. And they just kept asking, how the fuck are you doing this? Mm. You didn't come under Hot 97, Power 105, no internship. Nothing. And your your media shit is landing just as much as all the broadcasts. I said, yo, I just do what I do. And they were really picking the brain. I'm like... It's not dangerous. You need a manager. You need guidance. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, you were coming in. You, mm -hmm. you can't compare what you was doing to mine. I wasn't creative. Mm -hmm. You, you got to understand but that. But what I'm, what I'm saying is it's dangerous because now they always say, where this nigga come from? But you don't under. I'm trying, that's scary to a lot of niggas. I got you, but you're still not understanding. Right. A My creative point. person can still be looked at because they come out of nowhere. It's like people that look at me with podcasting. They think I came out out of nowhere. nowhere. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's accepted. Yeah. That's fine. That's crazy. By the way, I'm, that's crazy. You said that because. But in business, it's not. What you mean? It's not. No, it's not. It's not coming accept, out of nowhere. No, it's 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 not. No, mm. it's not accepted. You, when you come out of nowhere, coming from somebody like me, see, Ray came from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Atlanta is way different, even when you're striving. Look how 21 got with Mega Measy. Mm -hmm. 21 was already established and saw this dude working. You're not doing that in New York City. Mm -hmm. And you definitely wasn't doing that back when I'm talking about. That's new age shit. Mm -hmm. You're not coming through with knowledge and yeah. knowing who, who, yo, bro. Who do you know? Mm -hmm. Fuck what you know, bro. Do you know anybody? The biggest mm -hmm. thing in the music business that I had to learn, it wasn't what I knew. You know what I became good at? Putting people together and making deals. That's what makes you a good fucking manager. But that's also why you're here mm -hmm. and they can say, who the fuck is this guy? And it's not, you're, and, and I say, that, and I, by the way, I'm Resume. not dissing anybody. I'm yeah. saying, you're not owned. No, I'm not. And, that, and I'm not owned. But a lot of these guys are owned. Like I can tell you, managers right now who were big managers, who another big artist wanted to manage them, wanted them to manage them, and the the artist that made them big is like, you can't manage that person. Mm. Yes. So like it's like because they're owned. That's who pays their bills. They're owned. So when someone says this, this, and that, you gotta follow that. So I get, I get where you're coming from. But to me, the problem with the music business was this: was that I realized. That it was when I realized it was more based on luck than what you can control, and no matter how good you are, because L.A. Reid told me something that one day it changed my life. He said, "A uh, 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 A class." He said, "A A level executive cannot take a C level talent anywhere, but an A level talent can take a C level executive to the top." Mm. And so mm. to me, it's like people like myself and Esso. That's why I fuck with Esso. We we the real hustlers because mm -hmm. we don't have a, a a a baby that you could say that's the baby that he eats off. Now yep. I do have a guy that I made a majority of my money with, but he's a ghost. If I said his name, he's the real space ghost. He don't want no one to know his name. He like literally he right. He's if this nigga wanted to be Mike Will or one of them, he could have been. He didn't want to. He likes Ray. I like going home to my wife, my kids. You be the nigga that's out there. So the God Show to me became my artist. Mm. I treated the God Show like it was an artist. Like mm -hmm. this is an artist that I can control that's going to do what I want. And all I did it for was to really market myself. Because here's the thing, how nigga, if I don't have a superstar artist, you don't know how smart I am. Because yeah. you only judge me by how, how smart I am by based on the artist that I got working. There you go. So watch this. So I'm in the studio with Akon. Mind you, I came into business with Akon and my guys. Akon says to me, Ray, I didn't know you was that smart. I didn't know you was that smart, bro. If I knew you was that smart, I would have had you with me more. Uh, he didn't know because they only think you're smart if your artist is winning. But the smart niggas don't make their artists win. The yeah. artist is just the fucking, That's you just I be get lucky. This is what I be trying to tell niggas. You just get lucky. I be like, yo, because who would have think, who would have thought that I would have fucking helped put Trey Songz on and do the bidding war and Trey Songz was going to be bigger than Yummy. And I wasn't going to have, Yummy was, a, Yummy was the bitch over Rihanna, mm -hmm. over, over Neo, yeah. over everybody. She was that deal, nigga. Yes. All right? No, you couldn't tell me, so I was helping other niggas because I had the bitch that was going to be the bomb. So I'm giving, I'm going to help you, Trey. Cassie, you not ready, but you go home. When you come back at 18, I got you. Yeah. You good money. I got Rock Wilder. I got K-Mac and the Soul Diggers. 
Look who came back, got Coy Ray. These were niggas that was with me. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you go home and you go do this shit. And I got you because niggas respected me. Like he said, this nigga came from nothing. Who's this nigga managing Rock Wilder? And how you who, in the room? Like, who, how you in the room how, with a voice? Not only that, how you in the room talking? Talking. Like, that's another thing. You talking. Yelling. Like, like, yes, like I'm nigga. talking right now. Fuck that. Yeah. And it was way more wrong. Fuck all y'all. But that goes to Somebody's my point. Somebody's going to give me the fucking so bread. Then, if I remix my point to go back, it's more scarier than a, a manager to really come out. Yes. Of yeah. Yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. Because that, 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 that take your shit. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Being a creative person coming out of nowhere was is, is nothing. But a manager who got talent and knows how to put shit together. See, the thing about the music. But that's the thing, a dangerous the thing. The thing about it's the music business, nigga. and I'm going to say this My for the S. 50th time, and I'm going to say this in front of Ray. Being a manager in the music business teaches you how to deal with Fortune 500 company owners. Mm -hmm. Okay, it teaches you how to deal with street niggas. Yeah, it teaches fact. you how to do business. Yep. Well, no, street <laughs> business and paperwork business. Yep. That puts you in the Jewish world with the lawyers, because most of them are Jews. Yep. Right. That puts you in the clothing world. So now you're dealing with clothing. You dealing real estate because you buying shit. You're not like these other people. You're actually buying your house. You're buying property. You're dealing with different people. So when you put all that stuff in, in the mix, and they say, "Oh, this black man is smart." Motherfucker, this is some crazy shit. You see it talking about Puffy on a good way. You see what he's dealing with with the liquor company. Yep. He knew what he could do. You, mm -hmm. you, you, you see what I'm saying? They underestimated. He's like, sell how many cases? Do you know how many records I sold? Do you know how hard it is to sell fucking records when nobody knows you? You think I can't sell cases and I'm Puff Daddy? You don't know. The music business taught me everything. But let me tell you another thing. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you a question. What's up? Name, give me someone that's powerful in music, media, music, that they're not the face of the brand. In Media and music. They're Nobody. not the face of the brand. Nobody. Like, I get, like, like, uh, Lior at YouTube? Black. He's black. He's, he's talking about black. I'm, oh, he's talking about black. Us, like, like, he's talking about us. He's talking about Nori, like, like you, like you can that be you don't see the face. That you don't know who they are. Nobody. Nah. I fuck with Kaiser, but Kaiser ain't. Kaiser can't move a needle by pressing a button. He can sign the artist, but I'm talking about like, but not only that, Kaiser is a part of Jay's family tree. Let's that be clear. Jam. He's he no, I'm talking about Jay-Z, period. He's a part of Jay-Z's yeah, family tree. Can 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 we be as powerful without our face being known? That's my point. Now, hit, now I'm glad you said that. Now here's the thing. People like me and Esso got a choice. I can either help invest in your face or I can start investing in mine. My face. But if I invest in your face, I'm empowering you. Mm -hmm. And you can decide, Esso, I don't want you around this. no more. Esso, don't talk no more. Matter of fact, let me talk in the room. No, no. Let I'm gonna tell you like this. <laughs> this is the simple part. And hey, yo, clue. Clue will play, Clue will have me do a record in this room at 45 years old and play my shit on the radio before I say, can you play Ray Daniels record? He's dope. Ray Daniels could have a dope ass fucking record. Mm -hmm. It could be fly. But bro, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to put this in Ray Daniels' hands. Yep. I'd rather you go in and you yep. make the record because I know what you're going to do and with the success. With me. And yep. I know you're with me. That's all, so, that, that's, nigga, so that's the hard part about people like us. So that's why I started a podcast. Because my it? thing was, I got tired of giving you the power. And then watching you go talking, you don't give, you don't throw it back well, to me. You. Like, yo, shout out to Ray for giving me thank the game. You. So I stopped putting the game out myself. The there manager is the most thankless job in the music Bro, business. I've been telling y'all this forever. And that's when when Why he, would I manage y'all niggas? So I can manage myself. And is. that's how Bag Few was birthed. I'm listening to this game, even though we arguing. Yeah. Because you know, as men, is when you decide to merge with different entities, of course, you're giving up part of who you are as yes, a personality. For sure. Cooperation is engaging in a silent struggle. Yep. You understand? But that's part of how we succeed in life. And when I would listen to the convo, I'm like, yo, I'm looking at the landscape of podcasting. I'm like, nobody talking like this. Yeah. He don't even know. I'm thinking. I'm like, we can weaponize this yes, shit. Yes. That's why when you do your clips and I be watching, I said, 
That's the Virgo in this nigga, yo. Your Virgo? Hell yeah. My oh, motherfucking shit. nigga, man. I didn't even know that about my motherfucking nigga. September 15th. September 19th, baby. Uh, Virgos is the best. Oh, but but, but Lord, him, Lord, Lord. everybody that's been dope to me in my life is yeah. a Sag. Yeah. My pops, my yeah. cousins. Yeah. Three your or four. Kid, yeah. Your kid is a Sag. Yeah. He's a Sagittarius. Yeah. He's a Sag. King Sag, but, you yeah. heard me? King One thing Sag, I, I know about you two niggas, y'all love figuring out where the money gonna come from. Period. Fast, efficiently, and what else comfortably. Is what else no, is no, no. But some people, y'all analyze it in a different intricacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you see the new frontier of getting money out of this media podcast coming from? Um, I think that- Or do you want to keep that a secret? No, 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 I don't mind. Listen, bro, let me tell you about me. Bro, let me just make something known. Yeah. Bro, I was broke, and I, I was broke, and I was getting the runaround, and I promised God, if you give me an opportunity to win, I won't be a fuck nigga. If mm. I know the answer, I'm gonna give it. I just me. I can't help it. I'm not gonna do it. So for me, why I think I think is I think it's very saturated right now. But I think that the entire business and media world over the next 18 months is gonna go through a cleanse. Kind of like you ever seen Forrest Gump? Yeah. Okay. Remember the part where they was going through that storm, yep. and the reason why Bubba Gump shrimp worked was because they survived the storm. Yeah. So I think the hard part for the next 18 months is gonna be. Who can survive the storm? And I think whoever survives that storm is going to be the frontier, the leaders of the frontier going forward. Because I feel like now, anybody, everybody feels like, just get a camera and just talk. Yeah, but mm -mm. nigga, do you know what you're talking about? Like, I could talk, mm. I could talk relationships all day, but I don't talk relationships on my yeah, show. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I hate that. that. I, I hate that. that. I, I could talk relationships yeah, all I, day I, too. But I don't because it's like, that's not the brand you I'm doing right that, now. You yeah, say that, that for yeah. the other shows the other, when you yeah, do a guest yeah, show. Exactly. And you, and you, and then, and then they show mm -hmm. how well, well rounded you are. Yes. It's like being a rapper. Like yes. I always try to tell people. Like this is me doing a feature on yeah, Backview. Exactly. You come on my show. You are, you are. It's a hot single, Brad. It's a feature right there. That's for real. And that's how I look at it. It. Hey, cause that because that's what we are. But I, I, I'm gonna say this: it is saturated, right? Mm -hmm. But it's only certain people sticking out, and we're exactly. sticking that's out true. because of knowledge, right? We're sticking out because of the people that we have working with us. We're sticking out because of the people who come up with with the topics and the discussions. We're working out because we have a different type of swag and 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 knowledge. But it's also connections. We use a lot of the connections that we have to get people to come on these shows and to do things because mm -hmm. we have worked with them. We have established relationships, my, and that's what helps. My with company Warm. was called Radar up mm. until 2021, 2022, last year. I, I switched from Radar, and I started a new company. It's called LYI, which stands for Leverage Your Influence, because mm -hmm. I got tired of people coming to me saying, Ray, I need to figure out how to make money, and I would look at them like, do you know who you are? You can make money. I mean, your problem is that you probably want to... Every, our problem is we want to go so big. Mm. My thing is focus on the niche part of what you can do. But, like, I'd rather you focus on something small and letting that become big. Because at least you know your base is going to be potent as fuck. Mm. And to me, I feel like that's going to be the key. But, I, I mean, I just feel like there's like... Like Esso said, there are the stars that are rising above. But the one thing that I don't do... It's funny because as much as we've talked... Mm -hmm. The only time I find out what he does is through conversations on the podcast. Cause it's like, cause it's like, it's like we don't talk people, about that. Yeah, it's like why am I gonna talk about what I do? Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, when I open my mouth and speak, you are gonna say, "Who the fuck is this nigga? What mm -hmm. has he done?" That's why if you go to my page, you might I have to have a little thing where you see I got fucking I don't have enough room on my wall for another plaque, my nigga. That's why I have to do that because I already know if I'm looking at it, I see some shit talking nigga, and I'm a I don't know this guy is talking about this what artists need to do to win. I'm like. Fuck is this nigga? Then I go, mm -hmm. oh shit, he's on the cover of the XXL. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, this nigga got who the fuck is he? And it draws you in. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I didn't draw you in with what I got though. Mm -hmm. And that's what most niggas do. Look at what I got. Come fuck with me. Nah, I'm just speaking. And then you come fuck with me, and then you realize what I got. That's and, and and that was my approach because how I wanted I me to know. tell niggas. I already know. That's why I, that's I, what I said like, what I said. We don't yeah, talk about it. And I was like, I don't want to tell niggas because it's old, it's dated. Like, know me from now. And once you know me from now, once you start saying like, yo, my nigga, how, how you know? And then you start surfing and then people come back to even him and say, yo, Han, I didn't know how long you've been doing this yeah. shit. And he'd be shocked because now it's like I told, I told, I, I explained this to um, Mandy, Full Court Pumps. I said, the podcasting world was one thing, but it's changed. And she came to me, she said, well, why do you say that? I said, because there's niggas like me in it now. Yeah, the cool niggas is in it. We here. 
And not and not and not and not just the cool niggas. I'm not gonna take. Although y'all know, I know. I, I think that y'all heard, but I'm not gonna do y'all like that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just gonna say, it, it's about bringing the business, the music business mind and model, right, to YouTube and then podcasting. You although go. Joe and them did it, Joe and Nori did it on a creative level. So now you got niggas like me and you that's doing it on a business level that we know about sponsorship that we got for artists yeah. that had just got deals done. Mm. They didn't know nobody, but you still sponsor them. Yep. You know about how, 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 how to do commercials and reads when your shit starts off. You know it's money in there. So when the sign rapper comes to us, yo, you got a marketing and promo budget, you gotta give me a couple dollars, my yep. nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Time. So those things are the things that keep you moving and, and that knowledge well, is, is key. I'm gonna be honest with you. I celebrate us over, and no disrespect to Joe and Nori, I fuck with them, but I celebrate us over them. And the reason why is because they were already a brand. I said, that's what Jimmy told me. The interest was there for them already. That's what the Jim fact Jones that told people me. People like me and you and you can get on a camera and people, people want to see us. And they don't, we don't have no history. Mm -hmm. Like, no history. We could be like, yo, remember, that's a big deal. We don't have no part of your memory where it was like, man, I remember I danced to your song, man, my mm -hmm. girl when I was eight. We don't have nothing. And we're still here. To me, that's, to me, that's the new ascension. Mm -hmm. Because, but that shows that we know our shit. Because when we open our mouth, people come. Yeah. Like, people come running because it's like, oh, I could tell that this guy, like I said, they want to be a part of our community. I, they take pride in that shit. Now, I've been on races. Boom, nigga. Y'all niggas just catching up. Yeah. That's like how, nigga, we the new artists. That's how, yeah. yeah. It's true. It's true. We the new artists. What's next for you, Ray? Because you know we, we got other people waiting. I, I could tell you. We, we supposed no, 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 to talk to you for two I hours, you. I got bro. you. I got you. No. What's next for me is I just wrote a book called The Four Artist Agreements. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's going to sell. I think it's... I'm, I, I can, four Artist Agreements. I'm, like I'm gonna I'm gonna like the Four Agreements. Like the Four Agreements. I'm going to tell you something. My, my publicist who I'm about to hire and everybody who I've let read it literally came back to me and said, this is going to change the face of the music business. Because... My book is the prequel to Donald Passman's book. Gotcha. Like Donald mm. Passman's book is like everything to know so, about the music business. Uh, but it's like, did you see the Kashif about... one? The yeah, I read that one. one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was a really but, good but, one. But, they, but they're giving you points mm -hmm. on how to on the terms. Like, mm -hmm. here's how it works. You get a stream, fifteen hundred. You get yeah. this. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm saying if you want to win, here's the things you got to do, and here's examples of how I did it and how I did it, so it's accept that you are a product. It's, that's the first uh, agreement. The second one is honor your voice. The third one is commit to the process. And the fourth one is be thankful, always be thankful. Mm -hmm. And to me, the way I wrote it, it was in my voice. It was a comment, it's my love letter to every creative, every executive out there. If you read this book, I don't think that you can lose. And the things that I learned in this book, if I knew when I started, I wouldn't be sitting here with y'all. I'd be on an island somewhere rich as a motherfucker. Me too. Because I understand now how to win. I, yeah, me too. And I didn't, and, and this book is about winning. So that's what's next for me. And then, you know, like, and outside of that, man, just niggas, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm just embracing the new media world. So I'm watching guys like y'all. I'm watching guys like uh, uh, I'm Joe. I'm watching you. You and I'm watching, did the, and, 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 and I'm watching what Wallow and, and them doing. I'm watching them. And I'm, I'm literally like, just do my job. Yeah. Just do your job and come. So what's next for me is just, I'm just building, man. Like, honestly, bro, I'm just trying to be, trying to change the world, my nigga. Like, I wasn't supposed to be shit. And I mm. feel like there's a lot of people that feel like that. I wasn't supposed to be shit. And I want to be the person that leads that community of people that wasn't supposed to be Dang. shit that changed their cards. Yeah. So I'm leading the community of those people. So that's what's next for me. Right. And I need y'all to come down as a collective. We need oh no, because you know this is like this is like this is yeah. like when the Simpsons came on Family Guy and they yeah. did the show together with George Jefferson <laughs> with, with all the family and, and the Jeffersons came yeah. together. This is we that. gotta make a trip yeah. down there because we got some people. Bruh. I got I got Raymond Santana that wants to do the show with us. Yeah. We got Bangladesh. He just did my do, shit. Oh, that yeah, nigga. We got we got Bangladesh that's Bro, supposed to do that the show with us. An that and then we we can come down and do your show. Let's do my show. Oh no, we gonna turn up. We can make a run. Oh, that's what I'm saying. But and not only that, like I feel like we have to be like I feel like we should be doing tours together. Like I Ooh. I I look at it like we should be doing live broadcasts together. We like there's I'm not listening to your ass because nigga, we let's... supposed to do the fucking party together. Here we out. And, and then you post with another nigga. I just embraced it, but I had your name to it. You, 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 you post with another it's nigga. His event. I had to look. I said, damn, this nigga called me nah, about the, about the party and that me is supposed not... to host, I... and he and he got some other nigga up there. Nah, I said, this it's, nigga, it's, right? It's this Atlanta nigga. That's how Atlanta niggas do. 
They do New York niggas. See how they if get, I was from Atlanta, I, gotta take it, I would be on I gotta the party. Take it. I got to take it. No, that's not true. That's it. I, listen, Matthew, you want to be on the party? No. We don't want to be on the flyer. You know, he's guilty. Do you want to be on the flyer? Do you want to be on the flyer? He's guilty. Matthew likes the flyer. Flyer. Super thing. Follow Ray Daniels. Yo, 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 fuck with Bag Fuel. The fact that these guys are doing the show to teach young niggas like us how to get money. <laughs> nigga, for real, Yo, nigga. Yo, you slick talking game. No, 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 no. I no, 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 fuck no, with no, you, no, though. Let me tell you what no, I mean. I, I I'm be, I'm, this, like, what I mean by that is like, nigga, we giving the game to each other. But I can't, I'll be remiss if I didn't act like I ain't learned from you. But vice versa. Yeah, that's my point. For, that's, that's, that's what Shout makes it best. Shout out to God Show. Shout out to Mara. Yo, Atlanta, we still love y'all. We, <laughs> we rock with y'all. Like, we, subscribe, share the bad yeah, fuel, bad fuel. Support these brothers. We, we might do a tour together. We should. Yeah. I'm Let's dead do serious, it. nigga. Get us. Let's, we, All right.